What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Set. It's been one of the more requested build order videos and I've been pondering how I'm gonna approach this because like there's a lot of different options with Set. He's probably with the most versatile uh, Egyptian god out there. And what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna give you guys the non-abuse set build which lets you basically gives you a really good start into the game very very hard to stuff up is a little bit micro intensive in the early game but that's fine uh and gets a really good strong economy and gives you solid goals to work for in order to make sure that you've got a strong foothold in the game so without further ado i'm going to try and display it against this hard ai i know i'm stepping things up I've got a hard ai here so here we go so first two villagers are going to come over here onto our hut we're going to send our priest and our pharaoh forward or if depending on the map we're going to be looking for a or, or, like some sort of hunt here very important we're going to build a mining camp straight away get our hunting dogs Got three villagers here. We still haven't found our hunt. So we're going to spread these guys out, see if there's anything over here. There's normally hunt in front. So there's our giraffe. We send our, our priest over here to convert those three villagers on to food. Put another villager over onto gold. And well, the reason we're doing this is because we need to get early... Uh, Early gold for a very early temple because we need to advance very fast. I see a lot of the pros not do this, and I'm always confused as to why. They're always short resources. Um, so this is this is the strat here. Um, early villages on gold means you get the temple up with only one villager building. It means you get more resources, which is resources, which then means you can um, get your second town center nice and fast. So. Converting these giraffe nice and early um, is vitally important. Uh, if your opponent pushes you off these, it's, it's very, very bad. So um, sometimes it's better to check over on the sides of the map or to the back of the map. See, I found his priest. Uh, if this was a person here, he'd be hurting quite a lot from this. I'm going to try and put this uh, this giraffe in a nice spot here. Yeah, we've got this. We've got, our, we've got our gold now, so we put our temple down. And we just keep no. pumping villages here onto food until we can advance. It's very, very simple build order to start with. And these giraffes that are going to come are going to help out quite a bit. It looks like he sent something over here to kill me. <laughs> so I lost my uh, I lost my hyena. Which isn't the biggest of deals, but it is a deal. Um, hopefully I don't run out of this giraffe before this giraffe comes here. I think it'll be fine. And see how the temple comes up with plenty of time to speak. Probably even put these villagers onto gold a little bit later if you uh, if you so choose. It's like I've already got 100 gold, but it's actually really good because it means I don't have to put as many villagers over onto, onto gold as I advance, which is really important. It gives me some options for uh, one of the, the other builds you can try here. Um, because I've got a nice hunt pack here, I probably wouldn't convert that. I'll probably go for this rhino here. I should have enough hunt here to... To advance as long as this uh giraffe gets here i mean i can i can move the villagers over next to the town center is is totally fine as a drop point if you have them in the back spot here um, but i might even have enough to advance right here and now do. so we advance um i built one too many villages uh, i'm not sure Hi, nah, it's fine you were here we leave a bunch of villages on food put a bunch of villages over onto gold and we want to get our money. So two obelisks here. That's wild. Okay. So we're going to have plenty enough gold to get this next town center. Then we've got this hunt that's beautifully placed here. That's what we're looking for in the early game as well. We've got this vision to see what our opponent's doing and threaten um, shifting sands onto them or something like that. And we. Or even steal their their pigs if they've got pigs. We I'll, I'll show you that one if they've got some. Just run it back in here. When we advance, we've also got um, these these gazelle here, which we can eat. So actually, let's eat those. We were just immediately onto that hunt there, so we don't have any idle time or anything like that. Got this rhino here. And like you can see, a lot of this is very micro-intensive, but 
you get a lot of very, very safe hunt, very, very safe food. Everything feels incredibly safe here. And we can even eat these as well. That feels good. And we're away. In hindsight, I think maybe I should have put one more villager on food before gold. Because I think I could have had the, the temple up a little bit later and had just that little bit extra food income there. So if you want to make that make that work around with your um, with your build, that's going to be totally fine as well. So, okay, so now we've got enough villagers here on food. Um, we want to start pulling, putting villagers over onto gold. If we're in a, in a matchup like this against set where you know your opponent's not going to be too aggressive, you can come out and grab this gold. Otherwise, just send them to your um, to your home gold mine. So I'll uh, I'll just do that here. You can see we've already got a fair amount of gold in the bank, so we don't need that many villagers on gold. We should be aiming for a, an advanced time around 7.30 here or something like that. It's totally fine. 7.30, 7.45, you know. It's all good. And we, the other thing is we don't really care that we lose the food on this because it's just so safe to eat. And this is this is one of those things which, because there's so many things that you can do to abuse with, with set, nobody really does this. But it's incredibly boomy and it's incredibly good for your economy. It gets you set off really, really fast. And effectively, it means that your opponent has nothing that they can do. So if they build any army here, they can't really do anything. You just put a wall across here, totally fine. Um, a couple more villagers should be able to advance after this villager here, or maybe even after this villager. So let's uh, put it in this one. In which Dump of gold. And we're off. So 7 seven fifty advance in time then. It's kind of fine. So all I did was put villagers over onto... Uh, onto gold after I had a bunch of villages on food and I was happy with my food so now the next step when we're advancing to the next age probably want to take some villages off of food because we're going to have a lot of it get it over onto the wood and then um, and then start getting our upgrades we need pickaxe we need husbandry we need plow we need shadoof and we need a migdol we need wood can come anyways for chariot archers if we think our opponent's going to be uh, going for mass uh, cavalry you can make camelry it's totally fine. Get our hand axe. First upgrade is going to be pickaxe. The next upgrade is going to be uh, um, husbandry. Uh, he's going to come and attack me, I think. Let me know his plans. Um, the other thing we can do... Oh, I, I forgot to do this. He's already eaten them. Whoops, I should have taken those. Oh, well. I was gonna. I was going to say you can steal the pigs if you want. But saving saving the uh, saving the upgrade there is totally fine. Um, when you hit the next age, always throw down the market because we may need we may not be able to secure a second gold mine. You can see I've only got a thousand gold left in this gold mine, which is a lot. You can get out a good army, a sizable army to fight, and you also have ancestors. But just in case things go a bit south, it's never a bad idea to. Uh, to do this market thing and then we go through. Yeah, so he's attacking. Okay, don't go into the tower then. And we can just defend against any sort of pushes here. He's going after my villages. Sneaky boy. Uh, he'll get cleaned up very, very easily. And that's 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 e that's as easy as it is. You just can play nice and defensive, nice and boomy. And things are looking great for us. Um, okay. So at this point, um, I, I kind of want to get this should do fit because I'm running out of food. I, I've got a lot of gold in the bank. Uh, he's actually thrown away his armor, so you can only move forward and put this mid doll here if you want. But I want to get this Shadoof here. I want to be getting Plow, looking into that. And then um, we just head back in onto this uh, onto this Chariot Archer spam. Playing nice and defensive, trying to secure third town center as a goal here in uh, in any matchup. So getting this nice aggressive mid doll, securing both the large gold mine and a settlement, vitally important. If he was here with a huge army, I might even ancestors this to get this up. Totally worthwhile because we should be in a very, very strong position economically, um, regardless of the opponent here. So our gold mine finishes, we move forward. Uh, 
And um, it's pretty much finished, so we're going to start building our farms. So we need to buy some food because uh, it kind of messed up the economy a little bit. We do have a lot of chariot arches already here. In which... In which... And now, because we've got so much gold, so much wood, everything just needs to go into food. And we can afford the next town center, we'll buy it. But at this point, okay, so we're full, full on this, so we can sort of cancel the food income here. We can even sell some wood if we need to. Um, in fact, I think I might sell a bit of wood, get this town center so we can keep going. Uh, and, and now we're in a position here, like... like Against anyone, if we're in this position, we're in a in a we are, we're in a good position to continue uh, to play the game. Uh, this is not a this is not an all in. This is not any sort of trickery. This is just play solidly and uh, and and do good things with set. Um, totally plausible way of playing the game here. Um, you can even raid with these chariot archers as well while this was all going on. You feel comfortable. U -E -L. U -E -L. We just move e in, we kill everything, get our upgrades. This is here, we get these villages back over onto gold. We pretty much just want to be getting villages onto food at this point. See how much our wood economy is. It's probably even worthwhile um, getting, getting more upgrades and, and, and just making sure everything's good. And you can sort of see how it works from here. Look, if, if your opponent's done nothing, you're going to be in front. It's an incredibly good team game strategy as well. As a 1v1 strategy, because well, in, in 1v1s, part of the beauty of the strategy is you can you can threaten a lot of the, the early game cheese with set, like the, the fast uh, shifting sands, or um, or like an ancestor's all in um, with, with your with your army. But what you kind of want to be doing with this is, is slowly taking portions of the map here with Migdol. So I'm moving forward, put a Migdol on this town center, uh, have control of everything. So our economy should be fairly large. The only thing that's I've kind of done here that's a little bit wrong is um, is overbuild military. So I'm just going to delete some stuff here. Make sure. Oops. Sure we can. And even at this point, we can even sell some of this wood, take some villages off of wood here. Now that we're full, and we're looking to go to the Mythic Age here fairly fast. Like, this is not going to be as fast as, like, a raw a raw one, but it's still it's still pretty good. And and and, 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 and against Ra, you, you probably wouldn't do this strategy, but probably try something else but, but it, it would work you can grab the forward town centers against Ra and even now we can just sell all that that food that wood there little known fact if you shift sell your your uh, your resources you actually get um the entire 500 resources for the same price that you click it at. Um, so if it says 50 here, I get 50 gold for this. I'm going to get five. I'm going to get um 250 gold for 500 wood. And uh, and now we're like I said, we're we're in a position here. Full full villages. Full villages um, at the 14 minute mark going to be able to hit the heroic, the mythic age, the 15 minute mark, which is pretty, pretty good, all honesty. Pretty good. Um, we've got this town, this town center probably wouldn't have been secured, but we could come in and, and grab it if they haven't grabbed it. Uh, doing all the good things. Keep building these units, get everything up. Then, um, then with with the, uh, the tornado, we can even shift into Rax units here, build a build build a uh, monument here um come over into the corner get get everything we want once this uh once this horus comes it's 15 minutes for a mythic age here as set three town centers full population this is this is atlantean levels of speed to the mythic age here 
and we can also the ancestors and just win, right? Get out everything we need. Make sure we buy our upgrades when we can. And especially when we hit the mythic age, just setting up things we do is just get feral and build rhinos. Is, it works, but for the most part, you want to be um. I want to be upgrading these these barracks things here. And he's had enough. So, if you enjoyed this this video, enjoy this kind of video, please um rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you like about, it, what you hate about it. Um, but yeah, the 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 general gist of of, of set for me, is if you're not going to go for the abuse, what do you do? And I feel like this is the ideal with Set, which is what makes Set um, pretty pretty fun, pretty safe, pretty pretty good god. Um, you want to be leaning into the fact that you've got no walking time for your hunt villages, leaning into the fact that you can advance to the classical age extremely consistently at a very fast time, 4 minutes to 4.15, those kind of areas are really, really good for Set to be advancing. Uh, and, and then after that, getting to the heroic age just comes very, very naturally. Um, so if you can if you can sort of get this down that early stage of the game down and then just let sets power from that economy pull you through into this third town center if you get this third town center without too much hustle you're going to be in a really really good place to win the game uh, or at least be in it for a really long slog if your opponent's doing something similar and it'll be a really fun um tense late game fight for you uh, but this is the this is the build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My name's Boyd, and I'll see you guys next time.